How you doing? Oh, it's just getting high, man. It, fuck, it's seven in the morning, but it's taking a long time to kick in. I've still got this nervousness, man. Fucking hate it, mate. Wish it was something physical, so I can have to rip the fuck out. Speaking of physical, yeah, man. Evander, mate, I love him. Oh, sorry, Rocky Marciano might be my favourite heavyweight ever. Not just because he's the only white heavyweight champion ever. Not just because of that. Man, you're joking. I could give a shit what colour he is, man. He's a bad motherfucker. But so is around the Holyfield, man. And everyone talks about the R.D. Tyson thing as being the ultimate dream match. The only dream would be Mick, mate. Mick would be dreaming pretty quick, I reckon, man. I don't see how Tyson wins that fight at all. Uh, all due respect, man. I love Tyson. He's a monster in his prime. But I'll leave it to cut him to fucking pieces, mate. Way too fast. Tyson could have got a lucky punch or a combination, like, but Ali had a chin as well. So, I think that's a pretty fucking no-brainer, man. I think Holyfield Marciano is far more interesting for any proper boxing. Not saying I'm a total expert, but I've, I've been into boxing since I was about five. Since the Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray, Tommy Hearns days and Mike Tyson days, Nigel Benn, all that. What was I talking about? Um, Holyfield Marciano, yeah, man. The Marciano at his heaviest was basically what Evander was as a cruiserweight, and Holyfield was the first fighter ever to uh, be undisputed cruiserweight champion. Just no one gave a fuck about that division. But he was smashing it for years, but at, like, 30 pounds lighter than Mike Tyson, you know what I mean? But when he moved up to heavyweight, he was the first... Not only was he the first fighter to ever... Um, unified a cruiserweight division. He was the first, I think he was the first cruiserweight to ever go up and win the heavyweight championship. And he fucking won it four fucking times. You can't. Um, yeah, man. Lunatic. And he, he was supposed to retire at fucking 28. And he went on to do his craziest shit in his fucking late 30s and shit. Maniac. Well, yeah, him and Marciano, man. Marciano... Like, Holyfield, much quicker, much more skilled boxer. But both love to fight, both had chins. Holyfield had the combinations. Marciano had the one-punch knockout power. I picked Holyfield, but who the fuck knows, mate? Who the fuck knows? Marciano could knock anyone out, but Holyfield never got knocked out, I don't think. He got knocked down a couple of times, but he never got knocked out. Uh... Yeah, both at the same weight, all things being equal, I think Holyfield Marciano is a tastier fight than R.D. Tyson, man. And I ain't just saying that because I'm a rebellious brick. Uh, 